close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try to keep your awareness focused on this one thing. And try to make the breath comfortable, because otherwise it's going to be hard to be, stay focused. So find what rhythm of breathing feels good right now and try to stay with it. You're trying to strengthen the mind by giving it a focus like this. Because if the mind's wandering around all over the place, its energy gets scattered. And it's difficult to stay focused on the things that really do require a lot of attention. So this is practice and staying focused on something that's neutral, but also something that's very pleasant. And something that you can take with you wherever you go. Wherever you go, you can stay focused on the breath. You have no other responsibilities, nothing else you have to look at at that time or think about it at that time. Well, stay with your breath. Gives the mind a good basis, a good grounding. We're trying to develop our inner resources here because that's where true happiness lies. So the ability to stay focused and concentrated, the ability to be mindful continuously, in other words, keep in mind you want to stay with the breath, and to be alert continuously, just stay right here with what you're doing and the results of what you're doing. These are strengths that the mind needs, skills that the mind needs in all of its activities. All the good things in life come from the activities of the mind. We may not think that at first glance, but the more you think about it, you realize that what makes things good is what your mind does with them. A lot of things that just on their own don't have any positive or negative value, but if you give attention to them, that turns them into positive or negative. So it depends on what kind of attention you're giving, what kind of intentions you have. So the training of the mind is the most important thing in your life. Because once the mind is trained, then if good things come its way, then you can make good use of them. If bad things come its way, you can still make good use of them. This is your inner wealth. This is your inner strength. We give the monks give blessings often, wishing long life, health, wealth, and strength, beauty and strength. And everybody says, "Sah, toot." They want to gain those things, but you have to think about those things on the external level. They're not all that safe. Beauty, for example, when you're really beautiful, you attract a lot of attention, and at first you may like it, but then you start realizing you're attracting unwanted attention. If you're wealthy, again, you attract unwanted attention from people. People want what you have. It's not, in other words, it's not all that safe. And you yourself, if the mind isn't well trained, you can take your wealth and beauty and create a lot of trouble for yourself. So try to develop what the Buddha calls internal wealth and internal beauty. The internal wealth is your thoughts of goodwill for all beings. In other words, you see that other people are happy, that makes you happy as well. Okay, your happiness then can depend on whatever happiness is out there. It doesn't have to be just your own individual happiness, but you see other beings in the world are happy in various ways. Or doing things that lead to happiness, you're happy for them. You don't resent them, you're not jealous, you're not envious. You don't look down on them. You realize that everybody has the ability to make happiness, and you're happy to see them develop it, because that's how peace and well-being get spread out to the world. As for beauty, the Buddha says it consists of observing the five precepts that we just took right now. Because this kind of beauty is an internal beauty. And it's good all life long. You don't have to dress up in anything special. You can just be restrained and composed. In situations where you might harm yourself or harm other people, you don't do it. And that becomes attractive. That becomes admirable. And that kind of beauty, nobody gets jealous of it. It's a safe kind of beauty, just like the wealth of goodwill is a safe kind of wealth. So it's through developing our internal resources that the good things in life are here. That we can take good take advantage of what good things are out there, and we can also take good advantage of the bad things that are out there. If you have goodwill for others, even though they may behave in ways that are show disrespect, but still you have goodwill for them, it means that you wish them well, you're less likely to respond. You're a safer person to be around, you're safer for yourself. So think about these things, it's your internal qualities that you're developing. Those are your real sources of wealth, your real sources of beauty. and strength and long life and happiness in life. So give them time every day, because they will more than repay the time you spend on them.